Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about adding fractions with unlike denominator. By the way, how can we classify whether the fractions do have unlike denominators? As you can see, in our example number one, we have one third plus one over six. If you will focus on your denominators, that is three and six, as you can see, they are different. Therefore, these denominators or these fractions do have unlike denominators. So how are we going to add these fractions with unlike denominators? Basically, we need to create something or to do something to make these two denominators be equal to a single number. So first, we need to find the LCD or the LCD or the least common denominator by finding first the least common multiples of 3 and 6. So by doing listing method, we need to list down all the multiples of 3. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. So we will continue that if we, if we need to. Next, for the denominator 6, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. So our target here is to find the least common multiple. Here, the least common multiple of 3 and 6 is equal to 6. Okay? Now, our target here, since we already identified the least common multiple, we need to think, do we need to multiply a number to make 6 a 6? No, it doesn't. All we need to do is to transform this denominator into 6 by multiplying a certain number. So, so for example, this one. I will multiply this by 2. I will multiply your denominator by 2 and also your numerator by 2. In this case, we can create 1 times 2, it will become 2 over 3 times 2, that will become 6 plus 1 over 6. As you can see, we already achieved our goal to make the denominators similar, okay, or like denominators. In this case, we can easily add these fractions by copying your denominator, which is 6, and simply add your numerator, which is 1 plus 2, and that will give you b equal to 3. And for the final process in adding fractions, you need to simplify your answer. So we can have the answer of 1 half. This is the simplified form of the fraction 3 over 6. So we can put this inside the box for us to declare that this one is our final answer. So you can try pausing this video if you want to try um, adding item number 2 which is 7 over 9 plus 2 over 3. You can pause the video. Now, let us continue. Same process with number 1. We need to find first the least common multiples or least common multiple of 9 and 3 using listing method. So the first number is 9 and the multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, and so on. And as for the second number, which is 3, that is 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. I will stop here because I noticed that their least common multiple is 9. Their least common multiple is 9. Now, as you can see, you do not need to multiply 7 over 9 by a certain number because the denominator is already 9. So all we need to do is to multiply the second fraction by a certain number and this denominator should be multiplied by 3 to make it 9 
and also your numerator by 3. Now, copying the first fraction, which is 7 over 9, plus 2 times 3, this is 6, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. So as you can see guys, the denominators are similar or like denominators. So we can easily add them by copying your denominator, which is 9, and then add the numerator, which is 7 plus 6, that will give you 13. What do we need to do here is to express your final answer. As you can see, that is improper fraction. We can express that improper fraction as a mixed number. The equivalent mixed number of 13 over 9 is simply 1 and 4 over 9. So how did we get 4 over 9? Or 1 over 4 over 9. So what I did is I have divided 13 by 9. 13 divided by 9 is 1. Then 1 times 9 is 9. And then I need to subtract this. This will be equal to 4. This quotient is your whole number. The divisor is your denominator. The remainder is your numerator. So this is our answer for item number 2. So I hope guys you learned something from, something from this video. And please consider subscribing to our channel for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!